Oh yeah. Well, we have some killer crackle today. You know I'm gonna say it. It's that good, it should be illegal. Mm. I think I might just stay outside and eat all the crackle. Hi, I'm Shuey and in this video I'm going to show you how to roast this pork shoulder in a Weber kettle. And how to get perfect crackle. Because no one asks how was the meat, it's all about the crackle. So just sit back, grab a drink or two and let's get into it. This cook is a perfect example of why I say get to know your local butcher. I asked the team out at Gippsland Premium Meats to put aside a boneless pork shoulder for me. So they had this 3.6 kilogram pork shoulder hanging up in their cool room for two days before I went and picked it up. Then it's gone into my fridge for a further two days uncovered. This skin is drier than the Simpson Desert. This is giving us the best start to creating that awesome crackle by not buying vacuum sealed pork. Now you may be new to my channel and if you are, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell button. That way you'll get notified every time I drink more beer. Now I wanna make some slits in the skin and it is quite hard, but I prefer to do it when the skin's dried out because fresh skin can be a little bit spongy. You'll need to use a sharp knife and a utility knife that has a retractable blade is gonna be really handy. As you can set the depth that you wish to cut and I'm aiming for about five mil. Just roll the roast around and make the slits about one centimetre apart. Remembering you are using a sharp knife, so be careful. Now we can add a little bit of oil and the salt. And when I say a little bit of oil, I mean a little bit of oil. Firstly, flip it over. We'll put some oil and salt on the flesh first. It's as easy as just drizzling a little bit on and then just brushing it all over. And we're just going to season that with some salt. And we'll just flip that over and we'll do the skin now. Again, just a little drizzle of oil and brush it all over. This is purely, again, just all this is going to do is help the salt stick to the skin and it's gonna help in browning it a little bit. And now we just wanna hit it with some salt. Don't be shy, rub it into all those cut marks that we made. Then just pop this aside while we get the barbecue ready. Today, I'm gonna to be using a 57 centimeter Weber kettle and I'm gonna be pairing it up with some charcoal baskets because I wanna be roasting at temps at 240 degrees Celsius and above today. And how I'll do that is by loading up a chimney starter with as many briquettes as it can hold and then I'll light that up. Once they're fully ashed over, I'll place the charcoal baskets in the center of the charcoal grill and I'll dump the lit fuel in. Using a pair of tongs, just grab the last few stragglers, even out the baskets, and then drag them to either side. You're also gonna to wanna to add a foil pan to catch any of the drippings. We're gonna put the grill in place and put the lid on, making sure all the vents are wide open. I'm gonna give that 10 minutes to warm up. Now, you really wanna overload that chimney starter with briquettes. We want this kettle hotter than the sun. It's time to get the pork roast into the Weber. Now, into the thickest part of the roast, I'm gonna stick an internal temp probe and I'm gonna set it at 63 degrees Celsius. And just place the roast on the tray in between the two charcoal baskets and put the lid back on making sure the lid vent is to one end of our roast. That way the heat from both baskets is drawn over our meat and over to one side. You may have noticed I left the roast on the tray. That's gonna stop any direct radiant heat burning our roast. To create crackle, we need high heat. And when we place the lid vent to one side of our roast, that actually creates a hot spot. And if you leave the lid there, your roast at that end is going to burn. So around the 25 minute mark, we need to spin it 180 degrees. We wanna make sure that we don't lift the lid when spinning it. And we also don't wanna drag this wire from the thermometer. So using a heat proof glove, you can hold the wire and you can spin the lid 180 degrees it needs to be turned. And we'll let it roast away at that high heat for another 25 minutes, creating our crackle. Remembering, you only need two things to create crackle. That's dry skin and high heat. The oil doesn't do anything to create the crackle. It just helps it brown and the salt is just for flavor. The roast pork has been creating crackle for the last 50 minutes. So it's finally time to check it. Oh, look at that. And the internal temp is just a little over 13 degrees. Carefully getting the pork out of the Weber, we're now going to take it off that tray and put it 
back in the Weber. And I'm also gonna close down that bowl vent to about a quarter open. This will slowly drop the temp. We are aiming to run out the rest of this cook at 190 to 200 degrees Celsius. I just wish you could smell this through the camera. Today, I'm roasting at a high indirect heat and pork takes anywhere from 40 to 50 minutes per kilo to cook. So this pork roast is gonna take two and a half to three hours to get to that internal temp of 63 degrees Celsius. Or for those of you using my beer timer, you're looking at a six beer cook. Unless you include the four days of drying, then you might wanna have a couple of cartons on standby. Now just remember, like we did when we were creating the crackle, put on a heat proof glove, hold the wire and spin that lid roughly about every half hour, just so we get an even cook. In case anyone was wondering, I've got a red nose because I woke up this morning and there was a pimple on the end of it. The roast pork has finally hit an internal temp of 63 degrees Celsius. So we can get it out of the Weber and we're gonna let it rest for about 15 minutes. This is where you need to show some self-control. And this would be a perfect time to go and like this video. Rightio, it's time to cut into this roast and see how good it looks. But firstly, we need to do the standard knife drag over the crackle. Oh yeah, well he has some killer crackle today. No more stalling, I'm going in. Oh. I mean seriously, how good does that look? Super crackle, super juicy meat. What more do you want? You know I'm gonna say it, it's that good, it should be illegal. As always, cheers for watching.